let's get started with this look. I don't even know what to call it. But I did one eyebrow and the other eyebrow I left and I'm taking a glue stick and I am basically gluing my eyebrows so they stick down and they don't move. Um, I recommend using the purple one because it gives more coverage. This is just the one I had on hand. Then I went in with my spoolie and brushed that out like upwards so it's like, you know. Then I covered it with concealer. It took me a bit to get this. It's not fully gone, but it took a little bit to get it to at least good. So first I went with concealer. As you can see, it didn't cover too well. Then I went with foundation. Then I set it with powder. But then after I set it with powder, I went in with another foundation, but I don't have the clip of it. So yeah, but that's how I got it to this. It looks way better in my opinion. And now we're going to sketch out where we want the pumpkin jack-o'-lantern to be. So I did it on the side with the eyebrow like glued. You can do whatever side you want. That's just the side I chose. So first I went in with that. Then I went in with this face pretty which I made myself. And first I'm applying Vaseline and how to make it I just made it's flour and Vaseline. I didn't have any scar wax or anything like that. So this is what I used. And this, let me tell you, this was a struggle to get on to stay. It took at least like 20 minutes to get it on. It didn't really want to stay or stick. So it took a lot of effort. I had to go in with Vaseline to make it stick. It just wasn't the best. It was just a real struggle for me. But yeah, that's just what I did. Gotta do what you gotta do though because I didn't have any. And I didn't want to use the Elmer's glue because I wanted it to be more thick, you know. So after I apply that all over, I went in with some Vaseline. As you can see, boom. And now we're getting onto the eyeshadow. I actually did the other eye on accident. That's why it looks like that. But I'm going with the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and just grabbing like the brown shades. And yes, I did make this a little bit messy. I didn't, wasn't really worried about the eyeshadow that much. I just kind of blended away, you know, didn't really care. I usually do a lot better job. Um, but yeah, I didn't really care too much. It's just a basic eye look. Then I just went with this glitter from Ulta Beauty. It's like a blue, um, whitish. Then I just applied mascara. Now we're getting on to the half face where we're doing like a natural glam, you know. See, I accidentally put it on that side because I was looking in the viewfinder. But I'm using the Wet n Wild Dewy Primer, just prepping my skin as usual. After I do that, I'm applying my foundation. This is the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Foundation in 105. No, 102. I'm applying that all over. I'm also going over the little wax thing that I made. Um, it didn't really cover that well with the foundation. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it matched it, so it didn't really cover that well. But I supplied this all on that side with the eyeshadow and the brow done. As you can see. And yeah. And now I'm going in with concealer. What concealer under my eye and I'm only doing it under my eye because there's no point in putting it on my nose my chin Just because you know, there's not really a lot of space there and I'm not doing like a full face um, And now I'm going in with powder In case you guys were wondering what I do. I was making a TikTok. <laughs> and I'm just covering my whole face with this powder I'm even setting the wax thing so it doesn't move because I did place foundation on it now I'm going with bronzer on the one side of my face. This is our Nikki Beach bronzer. There's my dog. <laughs> now I'm going to be going in with blush. This is the Flower Child blush from Becca. And I'm just applying this on my cheeks. Now for highlighter, I'm using the ColourPop highlighter and I'm applying this in the center of my nose and on my cheekbone. The center of the nose just made this look look so much better in my opinion. I love highlighter. 
So that's what I'm applying. Now we're getting on to the other side of the face. So I use the LA Girl um, Pro Color Foundation Mixing. This is the orange one. Um, and I went in with a beauty blender. This could have definitely pass off as a devil look with the blood just because the color is so dark. But I did not have any paint left of orange. And this is like the only thing I could find at Ulta within my price range that was like an orangey color. Other than their concealer. But that one was still pretty dark. Like a reddish tone. So I went with this. And it works pretty well. And honestly it does give me good coverage and stuff. And now I'm setting that with an orange from the Tropical Palette. Carnival Tropical Palette. From Makeup Revolution. So I'm just setting that with the orange shade with this brush. And this brush is low key ruined now. Like I washed it and it is stained bright orange. But I never really use this anyway. So that's why I used Brushes I don't use, but I just applied that all over to set it. And now I'm taking an exacto knife. Be careful with this. I'm cutting down the center of where um, I place the wax. So, like, I can put, like, blood and stuff in it. As you can see, I just cut it. Now I'm going in with this color thing from Michaels. It's just, like, a paint. And going in with a Real Techniques brush. And I'm creating the thing over the eye. Which is what I'm doing now, and then I fill that in. Now I'm going making the jack o' lantern smile, so I went in with like a craft brush and I just started sketching out the smile. And you definitely can pull this a lot more towards your mouth if you wanted. I just didn't really think about that, so I did it at the end of my mouth. Kind of, yeah, at the end of my mouth. And then I'm just filling that in. Now I'm doing a little bit of a nose. Um, I didn't do the full side of the nose just because where the scar wax and stuff was placed. And I didn't want to cover my highlight. And now I'm setting that with the black shade from the palette as well with another Real Techniques brush. Um, and these ones are fine. I don't know why the orange one got so ruined. Well, it's not ruined. It's just stained. But it also was a white brush to begin with. But yeah. Now I'm taking a little. I'm not even sure where this brush is from. But I'm taking a brown shade from the Soft Glam palette. And this is what I'm using to give shading to the pumpkin. Um, and I tap off the brush every time. So yeah I did shading. Now I'm going with fake blood. This is vampire blood. And I'm putting it inside the cracks. And just like to make it bloody. Kind of dripping down my face. On that one side. You know, just to make it look scary and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing. And now I'm going with staples. Again, be careful with this part. This part took me forever. And then I went in. Then I started putting the staples in between that. You can also do rings if you want. I just wanted to do staples. And some parts it was hard to stick the staples because there wasn't enough wax because it kept falling off. So that kind of sucked. But like the portion from like my nose to my forehead was pretty good like they were, they looked good as you can see I'm struggling to get them apart so yeah I'm just sticking the staples in make sure not to poke yourself and now I'm going in with more blood and going around the staples and just applying it more to make it even look more realistic which a staple just came off right there <laughs> As you can see, it looks a lot more fake. And now I'm going in with a lip product. I just grabbed a random one. I couldn't even see. I just like picked and it came out with the shade because I didn't know I needed one. But yeah, that's the finished look. Hey!